Hello and welcome to this uh, video clip looking at a level question on uh, combined spectral analysis. Um, it's not too difficult to plan this one out because it's three simple um, sections that it seems to fall into. Uh, there's the empirical formula analysis, there's the infrared analysis for bonds, there's the mass spec for molecular fragments and then the NMR analysis for hydrogen environments. So with that plan in mind, I'm going to lay out the answer on the right-hand side. So I need to get rid of my plan first to make some space. So taking the empirical formula data, I take the uh, percentage, I divide it by the MR, or the, sorry, the atomic, relative atomic mass of each element. And that gives me a, a ratio of 6.18 to 11.41 to 1.03, which gives me... Um, an empirical formula of C6H11N. So if you take the molecular ion peak as 97 mz, that means the MR of the compound must be 97 grams per mole, which also happens to match C6H11N, so we can say that that's the molecular formula of the compound. So looking at the infrared spectrum, um, there's a quite strong peak it's just gone 2,000, so 2,220 to 2,260 centimetres to the minus 1 gives us the C triple bond N um, environment. So that particular functional group, uh, the um, nitrile functional group. Obviously at 3,000, the narrow peak um, suggests C single bond H as opposed to a wide peak which would suggest OH instead. It's not an OH bond, it's a CH bond. And it's perfectly acceptable to annotate on the actual spectrum itself to make your point if you want to. So to do the NMR spectral analysis, you can label each peak A, B and C. So we can put our information to a little table. Now the environment just seems to be the same one from the uh, NMR data sheet. So what we need to do is actually look at the splitting patterns to try and differentiate between these um, subtle environments. So what I'm going to do is circle in blue the actual proton environment that each individual peak I think is referring to. So this now makes it a little bit clearer hopefully. So this allows us to identify our structure once and for all. So just to clarify which part of the structure came from which proton in the uh, peak. So I've just popped them next to each of the protons that they're relevant to. Okay, so hopefully this has been a fairly useful little clip. I apologise uh, for sort of squishing it in a bit at the right-hand side there, but it's one of those ones where you need to see the whole question on the whole screen to make it uh, sort of make sense. Okay, so thanks for listening once again, and until next time, see you soon.